so I just had my consultation and today is what's today actually 10 10 10 yeah. Monday I come back on Thursday to get my eyes done that's my little sister I have to wear these under my glasses because I just got my pupils dilated so my eyes are really sensitive to light but Okay, so I'm on my way to get my eyes done. It is Thursday, October 13th. My cousin is taking me because I won't be able to drive afterwards. I think that's what they said. Um, so I wasn't allowed to wear any makeup or any strong fragrances or anything like that. Um, I had to eat something. So all I ate was applesauce and I have a protein shake right here and I actually hate this one, but it's the only one I had. Um, so they're gonna give me a volume when I get there. I don't know how many milligrams. I'll let you guys know when I get it. Um, to take, I guess, to relax my nerves, they said, because I'm gonna be up the whole time because I have to look into a um, a light. They said I have to look into a green light, so that's why they have to keep me up. But they're gonna put anesthetics into my eyeballs. Um, so, yeah. I'm excited, so I have to be there at 9, they say because it takes 30 minutes for the, I guess, the, um, the pill to kick in and for me to get set up and stuff. They told me that it only takes about 3 to 4 minutes per eyeball, so it should be pretty quick. My cousin is going to film for me because they told me that I can film, um, and yeah, so the cost of it, it was... I got all laser, so it's two different options that you can get. You can get the original, um, the original one, which is it's a mechanical machine. I think that's what they said that does the cut in the eyeball. Uh, but they developed, they got a new laser two, three years ago. Um, so that's the one that I got, and he said there's no real difference in what you'll be able to see. It's just the precision of what they can cut and how thin they can cut I guess your top like the little clear part I don't know what it's called um, so he said the laser is a little bit more precise but it's about $350 more per eye and because I need both eyes so it was $700 extra um, but I went ahead and decided to do the all laser procedure just because if it's the most precise one like these are my eyeballs like I don't want to um, fuck them up but yeah, so where's the paper at? Yeah, so the the standard LASIK one, yeah, is twenty five hundred for both eyes. They have like different packages where you can come in for checkups, and if you need to do, um, like if you need to come in and they need to readjust your eyes, like they have certain packages that you can get. Uh, so they have the twenty five hundred dollar package, which is for both eyes, and then they have a twenty eight hundred dollar package where you get to come in for like a pre op exam, and if um, you need an enhancement within a year, it's free. But I end up getting option three, um, which is the all laser LASIK, and then you get a three month follow up care, and then if I need a touch up on any of my eyes, it'd be three hundred dollars. Um, if I wanted to get one where the touch up will be free, it's Thirty-five hundred is three hundred extra dollars, um, but he said that most people do not need the touch-up uh, once you get the surgery. Once that's that's it. Um, the guy who was actually checking my eyes, he had it three. You no, know, he said he had it five years ago. He had the surgery done five years ago, and he never had to go in for a checkup. They said people who have to come in for a checkup is like the the um, ratio is like really really small. So I was like, I don't think I need it. Um, but yeah, so it was $3,200. You have to put a $300 deposit down and then pay the rest today. Um, we're on Wilshire and traffic is so bad. <laughs> but yeah, so I think it's worth it. I spent about that much so far on contacts and glasses, glasses if not more, because I've been wearing glasses since I was 12 and I've been wearing contacts since I was 16. Uh, glasses be like $300 each and contacts are like $50 a box and I go through those boxes like nobody's business especially because I rip my contacts a lot so I think it's definitely worth it and I'll let you guys know when I get in the office. Okay, so I'm here and this is the volume that I'm supposed to take so
It was? Yeah, but it said occupies so I'll put the key in there. Okay, so one of the doctors just came in and he put three different eye drops into my eyes. I just, one was an antibiotic, I don't remember what the other two was, and he put this on my head and these on my feet. Um, and these on my ears to keep whatever they put in my eyes from dripping back into my ears. So, just waiting on this volume to kick in because now I'm getting hurt. So this is the machine that creates the flap that they pull back in the next clip. Um, you said it takes about 22 seconds um, to create um, the, the C-shaped flap. So it's a laser that goes in and it creates tiny little bubbles in the shape of a C. And then when you get to the next uh, clip, that's how they are able to separate the little clear part from the actual pupil. So once the flap is pulled back, um, this is the step where the laser goes into the eye and I guess um, it recalibrates your vision to what they measured in your um, consultation. Congratulations! Thank you. Follow me this way. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to keep the eyes closed for about 15, 20 minutes, okay? okay. Can I come in here too? Yeah, you can. Okay. There's a seat. Your mom's here. I don't know where they went. She said she'll be right back. Okay. Okay, so I just woke up from like a four hour nap. 
didn't even know that I would sleep that long. Um, but I can see, uh, I can see pretty much everything right now. It's just a little blurry. Like I see like a little halo around certain things I can see. Um, and my eyes were burning so, so, so bad when we left. Um, so I had this on and then they gave me another little darker like kind of like how sunglasses are to fit in here But I took it out when I got in the house because like the Sun like all the lights were really really burning Like I can only keep my eyes open for a few seconds um, But I can hold them open longer now and I have to keep this on all day and I have to sleep in it I can take it off in the morning uh, to keep me from rubbing my eyes because they said if I rub my eyes I might move the little flap that they um, that they opened up and put back so I have to keep these on all day my eyes aren't burning right now um, I can like see everything like I can read stuff far away it's like fucking amazing um, but uh, right now it just feels like I don't know if you guys ever had an eyelash in your eye or like something in your eye that's what it feels like in both my eyes right now and I want to rub it so bad and I know that I can't so I'm just trying to ignore it but every time I blink it feels like I have an eyelash like under my lid somewhere um but other than that I'm excited so they said even though like I can read everything on my tv on my walls like everything right now and they said that this is not even a hundred percent they said tomorrow I'll be at 90% so I go back in tomorrow at 10:15 to do a, like a little checkup make sure everything is going good um, but yeah so I was like if I could see this right now and I don't even know what percentage I'm seeing that and tomorrow I'll only be at 90% this is gonna be really amazing this is probably the best $3,200 I've ever spent in my life um, but I'm still sleepy. And my hair is really crazy and yeah, so I'm just gonna sit here all day and chill. Okay guys, so it is the day after my surgery. Um, I just left my post-op appointment, it was at 10.15, and he said, the doctor told me that everything looks perfectly fine. Um, my eyes, are still a little sensitive to sunlight like daylight doesn't really bother me that much but when I go out in the Sun sometimes um, not sometimes but today uh, it bothered me a little um, I had to sleep in those goggles last night to make sure that I didn't like push against my eye with my arm or like my pillows or anything and I ended up waking up at like 5 30 this morning and my eyeballs were really swollen um, but I just took uh, 800 milligram ibuprofen and then by the time I woke up again at like 7 38 my eyes were back to normal uh, so I went to my post-op he they checked to make sure everything was healing right and everything was okay and then they made me do another eye test and right now they said that I am uh, um, at about 90% um, I guess healed or 90% of what I'm really going to be able to see like um, so I was nearsighted meaning I couldn't see far away um, but I could see close up really good and this morning when I was like taking a shower a couple of the things kind of went blurry uh, but then it came back really quick but he said that that's normal that's just my brain trying to recalibrate um, the fact that I could see far away now uh, but other than that I did the eye test and he said that right now even though I'm only 90% I'm only at 90% I'm seeing better than 2020 which is awesome so I was like oh my gosh when I can see 100% I'm gonna be like a superhero um, but yeah so I can see um, better than 2020 right now the only thing is I'm a little bit sensitive to the sunlight outside and with certain lights I see like a halo around certain lights he said it's, it'll be worse at nighttime but in a couple of weeks that should go away he said mainly um, if that keeps happening my eyes are probably dry and I need to put the the lubricating eye drops in so I have three eye drops I have an antibiotic any anti-inflammatory and a lubricating um, eye drop so one of them I don't know if it's the antibiotic or the anti-inflammatory I only use for three days I do uh, three drops three times a day and then the other one I do three drops three times a day for seven days and then I go down to two drops um, to no shit no so I do 
uh, one drop three times a day for three days and then the other one I do um, one drop three times a day for seven days and then one drop two times a day for seven days and then he said with the lubricating drops I want to use that one more than anything and I'll probably need that one for about two months um, and it's just to keep my eyes moist keep my eyes from drying out um, and yeah so other than the sensitivity to like the sunlight outside and the little halos that I see around certain lights which it doesn't really bother me because uh, it's not like a crazy explosion of, of whatever around it it's just a really light halo around um, different lights that I see um, other than that I woke up and I could see perfectly fine um, I still every now and then when I blink I feel like I have like an eyelash or like something in my eye but um, he said that that's normal and that should go away when I start using my eye drops because I haven't used the eye drops yet. He said that should go away, but I'm still not allowed to like crazy rub my eyes um, because the flap, see, ouch, like, like that, the, the flap, um, the flap is still healing. So yeah, when I blink sometimes, it feels like there's something in my eye and I want to rub it so bad and I have to remind myself that I can't. Um, but other than that, it's nothing compared to yesterday. Yesterday, my eyes were burning so bad. So when I like when I was at the doctor, I was fine. As soon as I left, my eyes started burning so so bad to like I could not keep my eyes open. Um, I had to keep them closed, and I ended up going to sleep. And I guess the volume that I had took uh, for the surgery knocked me out for like four hours. And then when I woke up, the burning was gone, but the eyelash filling was still there. Um, but yeah, last night I totally forgot that I could see and I got up to go take my contacts out and I got in the bathroom and I was like, oh shit, no, you don't have any contacts here. You don't have to take anything out. So I am looking so forward to that, like to just be able to go to sleep and to wake up, not have to try to find my glasses or worry about putting contacts in or getting eye infections. Like I'm so 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 happy so the fact that I'm seeing so good and it's the next day and most of the pain is gone again besides the, the blinks every now and then like right now it's gone um, but every few blinks I'd be like oh shit something's in my eye uh, but I know it's not um, but yeah uh, I don't know if I said this but seeing close up sometimes it's a little blurry I could see close up perfectly fine before I just couldn't see far away um, but he said that be my vision close up is might be a little off for a few days because it's my brain trying to recalibrate the fact that I can see far away again um, but other than that so other than the eyelash you see the eyelash filling the sensitivity to the sunlight um, everything else is perfectly fine like I'm so happy like this is probably the best money that I've ever spent in my life like it's probably going to be the best money like ever because I've already spent that on glasses and contacts in the past um, but yeah so if you guys have any questions that I think that I can answer again I'm not a professional I'm just doing this video to help somebody out there who wants to know about this or who is thinking about getting it um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, for those of you that want to know, I went to LA site. It's on Wilshire. I think the address is in Westwood. Stop texting me. I think the address is 11600 um, Wilshire Boulevard, Suite 200. Dr. Wallace did my eyes. Everybody in the office was so, so nice, so friendly. I've been there three times this week because I literally, I went to my consultation on Monday. She's like, when do you want to do it? I said, soon as possible. I went and got my eyes done on Thursday. Today is Friday and I can see. So, I mean, I'm really satisfied. I'm happy and I'm just like, this is awesome. So again, I go back in a month. Um, just to do another follow-up to make sure everything is perfect they said if anything happens if my vision goes blurry if i can't see i can come back in at any time um but other than all of that i am just so so happy that i can see it so good like it's like putting on a fresh pair of contacts every time i look at something um but 
yeah, uh, I, hope so. I hope you guys out. Uh, again, I'll have all the information along with all of Dr. Wallace's information down below. This is not a sponsored video. I did not get the surgery for free. I just really, like, I'm really happy. Um, oh, and he said that I can resume all regular activities today. Um, yesterday, I wasn't allowed to, like, use my cell phone, read, or use like a laptop, but I can watch TV and stuff. He said, because uh, especially if you're reading, you know how your eyes go like this following the words. He said, if my eyes were moving too much that the flaps could have, I guess, peeled back. But today I can do everything that I couldn't do yesterday, um, like back to normal, so. I love you guys, I'll see you in my next video.